So over here in uh, Pundica, Kentucky. So people out here are no Kansas. Kansas. No, Kentucky, my bad. I'm in Kentucky. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm in Kentucky. <laughs> Pundica. Pundica, Kentucky. Man, you'd be surprised. All the people out here is like black, Mexican. I don't see that many Mexicans. Well, some. Well, anyways, everybody's all mixed together. Black, white, Mexican. Everybody's all mixed together. Nobody's hating on each other. Everybody's just trying to live the best they can. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's just trying to get by and shit. Like, I don't see nobody staring at my car. I don't see nobody calling the cops on me. Uh, well, I mean, I see some people staring at my car, but they just stare in there long enough to see if you're doing anything wrong or not, which is reasonable, you know? If you're going to stare at my shit, make sure I'm doing something wrong. Okay, cool, I understand that. If you're going to stare at my shit just to be an asshole and just because you already see I'm not doing nothing wrong and you just want to keep staring and being a dick until you call the cops, that's not okay. You shouldn't have to stare in someone's vehicle to call the cops on them like that. That's stupid. I understand people do shit wrong, but I ain't one of them. I ain't doing nothing wrong. So y'all motherfuckers need to get over that shit real fast. All right, honestly, uh, Kentucky, Pundaka, Kentucky, uh, this shit's chill as fuck out here. These people out here are so mellow-headed and so kicked back and just like on their own shit, trying to make their money and fucking take care of their families and shit. Like, I mean, everybody out here is working, just taking care of their families and like looking out for each other not really looking out for each other but i mean like minding their own business not really hurting each other you know it's better that you don't hurt somebody than you try to uh hurt somebody and be all up in their business like these people out here are just minding their own business trying to do their own damn thing you know what i mean like um i've been out here for a minute now and i still haven't had no problems out here like all these other places you know what i mean like people out here are just chill as fuck like they come at you respectful. Like I had the property manager or property owner or somebody over here at this uh, mall next to Planet Fitness and shit. He rolled up on me right here in uh, Pundica. He rolled up on me, he said, with him and his wife. And he said, hey, what are you doing? And I was wondering the same shit. Like, what the fuck am I doing with all this shit in my car? So I'm over here trying to get rid of shit and fucking organizing stuff. And I know I shouldn't have been doing that right where I was. But, hey, it's the only spot I got right now. So... I'm like, shit, I'm going to do this while I'm waiting for uh, for Planet Fitness, right? Oh, yeah, there is some bugs out here. Uh, but, oh, the fishing's great, though. I love the fishing out here, man. I'm kind of whipped on that fishing out here in uh, Kentucky, Kansas, or Kentucky, man. This shit is uh, Kentucky, I'm sorry. This, this shit is good fucking fishing out here. So, probably anyways, property manager rode up on me with him and his wife, or property owner, or whoever he was, well, rode up on me with him and his wife, and he says, hey, what are you doing, like, what's going on, I'm like, well, shit, I'm wondering the same fucking thing, but, you know, I'm sitting here in the shade with my dogs, trying to avoid the heat, uh, trying to keep my dogs cool until I go into this plan of fitness, take a shower and shit, and he's like, oh, okay, so you got dogs in there, I'm like, yeah, I got dogs in there, and he's like, oh, that's understandable, okay, cool. Like, that's how you should talk to people. Like, communicate with people. Don't just sit there and keep staring them down like they're doing something wrong. Um, don't harass people, you know. It's just just because it's America, you have the right to harass somebody and use the police to harass them. Don't mean that you should use the police and harass them or you should harass them. Like, people are doing that shit. They're using the police to bully people. Like, come on, really? Serious? Think about it. Like, if a person ain't bothering you and they ain't hurting nobody, and then why you bothering them? Why you hurting them? You know, if you ain't helping them, you're hurting them. So why are you going around hurting people with the police? Using the police to hurt, hurt other people, you know what I mean? Like, that's not okay. But people out here in Kansas, or, yeah, Kansas is just chill as fuck. They're not worried about, uh, shit, Kentucky. Sorry. People in Kentucky are chill as fuck out here in Punduka. They're just fucking chilling. They're uh, minding their own business, good people, good communication skills, happy people. Like, um, a few of them, they've had good personality with me. Like, fucking, hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. Like, conversation and shit, you know what I mean? Like, I appreciate that because I don't always get good conversation from people. They see me with a little bit of a scruff or smelling dirty or... Uh, you know, uh, fucking dogs or sitting in my van all day or whatever. And they think, oh, this guy's up to no good. He's a bad person. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And instead of thinking all that, these people out here in, uh, fucking Kentucky. Wait, yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky? Yeah, Kentucky. 
Yeah, I ain't in Kansas no more, Toto. So in Kentucky, they're out here just chilling. They're 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 good people. They got com good communication skills. Like he asked me, "What are you doing over here?" That's how you're supposed to approach someone. Don't call the cops on them. Ask them what they're doing. Like I mean, if you got a problem with them being there, tell them. I security. I pulled up behind this uh, building over here. You're not supposed to be behind the buildings, you know. Uh, it's just for truck, diesel truck, and parking and shit, so they could unload their loads, right? Well, I pulled up behind there because there's no fucking shade out here, like anywhere. So I pulled up behind the thing, so the building's making shade, right? Because the uh, sun's coming out from the other end. Well, a dude pulls up on me, security, not even one minute after I pulled up. And he's like, hey, what's going on, man? And he's like, what's, what's up? And I'm like, shit, trying to get the shade for my dogs. And he's like, oh, okay, I understand that. But if you're going to Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness is right here. And he's like, you should probably pull around to the other side where there's shade and it's Planet Fitness actual parking. Like, dude, I understand that. I can accept that. That's a good fucking answer. That's good communication skills right there. Like, he communicated with me that he did not want me behind that building. And I moved my ass from behind that building and didn't give him a problem, didn't give him a lip, no police were needed. Like, we just communicated, you know what I mean? That's how the fuck you're supposed to do things with people. You're supposed to communicate with them. Not just look at them and call the cops and be a little bitch about it, like fucking people in Wyoming. Like, uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, they were just calling the cops and not even telling me, hey, I don't know, you should probably shouldn't be parked right there or something. Like, that would make more sense if they just came up to me and told me, like, hey, that's probably a bad parking spot. I... Well, what are you doing? I mean, that makes a lot more fucking sense than calling the cops on me. Dude came up, had good communication skills. The dude that came up, the owner with his old lady or whatever, or the manager with his own lady or whatever, they had good communication skills. Like, everybody that I've came in contact with out here got good communication skills. They're not scared to talk to you. That's the problem with Americans is we run around here like scary little bitches talking shit on people because they live different, and then we call the cops. Hey, oh my god, they're living different. I gotta call the cops. No, fuck that. Don't call the cops on everybody living different from you. Go over and communicate with them. What are you going through? What are you, what are you doing? Like, even if you're not going to help me, don't hurt me. Like, just ask me what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Just communicate with me and let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. You know what I mean? That's all the person asks is from another person. It's human beings should be able to communicate with each other. If we can't communicate with each other and all we can do is call the cops on each other, then we have no fucking communication skills. That means that we're not even fucking human. We're like, we're worse than animals. Even animals communicate. You get that? Even animals fucking communicate. If you can't communicate with someone that you don't want to park in front of your house or in front of front of uh, whatever like fucking where they're parked at or if you're wondering what the fuck they're doing and you can't communicate hey what the fuck are you doing why are you in that spot and then you're an idiot you're fucking worse than an animal because even even, even animals communicate think about that so next time you think you're gonna call the cops on somebody or something just because they're in the wrong spot or doing something wrong like communicate with them okay Communicate with Shin will get you further in life than calling the cops on somebody. Calling the cops on someone will probably piss them off. And if they know you call the cops, they might just do something to you. So instead of doing all that, or instead of somebody getting an attitude with you, or instead of you guys fussing and fighting with each other, or instead of the cops having to come out and waste taxpayers' money, or waste their time and money, and waste time that they could be doing something more important, instead of wasting all that stuff, you could just communicate with that person and be like, excuse me, that's not okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Have a nice day. You know what I mean? That's just food for thought for you. I don't know. I just like the way people do stuff out here in uh, Kansas or Kentucky. I'm sorry, I keep saying Kansas. This, this shit sounds the same. Uh, so, so far from my personal experience in Kentucky, I love it. Um, people out here are awesome. Great communicators. Very polite. Very nice. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. It's just good people out here in uh, Kentucky. I really like it a lot. It's good people out here. If you're going to visit somewhere, I would definitely visit Kentucky because there is authentic people out here. Like, truly authentic. And if you're going to go somewhere, go to uh, Panduco Water Wall. That shit is fucking awesome. I love Panduco Water Wall. Because you could go park right on the fucking, uh, where the boats launch and shit. You could park right there. And then you could fish right out your fucking van. And you could fish right there in the water. And they got big ass fish. I got a picture of one of the fish, man. 
I love Panduka Water Wall, and it has the history of Panduka on the, on the fucking wall. Oh man, you gotta visit that shit for sure. Uh, Quilt Museum, Quilt Museum will let you park in their parking lot, uh, or in the parking lot across from them, uh, for I'm not sure how long, but you can park there as long as you're going to the museum and visiting the wall to wall and shit while you're looking around. You can park right there, you can spend overnight if you have to, but um, I mean, I wouldn't overstay my welcome, but hey, uh. The fucking place is awesome, man. Panduka is awesome. Kentucky, so far, is awesome. The people in Kentucky are fucking awesome. This place is nice. Compared to Florida, these people are so much fucking chill, more chill and polite and respectful. Compared to... Not even compared to anywhere. Just they're their own place. And they're very fucking awesome how they do things. <laughs>